Well, you're getting a picture taken today, right? What's your picture going to be of? Is it going to be of your tummy? And when we drink this stuff and it goes into our body, it makes the pictures be really bright and clear for the doctor. Do you remember what we're going to do is we're going to have you lay flat on your back. Oh, yeah. Yep. Does anything touch you or hurt you in this machine? Nope. Our first meeting with Child Life, they had somebody actually come over and walk us over to the inpatient side of the hospital, kind of explain to us the process, what we were going to be doing, kind of explain to Cameron a little bit about what would be going on and what would be happening with her, um, that she would be sleeping in the hospital. Um, kind of give us some good information to prepare us as parents for what would be going on and to kind of prepare her as a four-year-old patient with what she would be going through. kind of provided a distraction also. Um, it was nice because we were just given this devastating news and then we were now going to different parts uh, of a hospital that we had no clue really where we were going. So we just thought it was more or less somebody that was just kind of giving us some direction uh, but found out that it was, it was more than that. They were uh, giving us not only that information, but also comforting our child. They provided us with everything that we needed to kind of keep Cameron comfortable with all of the things that were going on, it kind of kept us comfortable. Uh, providing her toys, games, um, just anything to... Keep her mind off of the distraction. Yeah, distraction, I think, for all of us. Oh. Isn't that cool? He hates to have his patch changed, and it hurts and everything, and there's so many times he'll be freaking out and crying, and he'll just be, he'll stop crying immediately. And he'll be so focused on a game or a, or a puzzle or something like that on the iPad that all of a sudden the nurse is done with it, changing his patch, and he'll look down and go, you're done? So it's definitely worthwhile for us to have child life here every time. Every time you spin, how about you drink? Would that be okay? Okay, let's do that. Nice work. I think he just jumped over there. No, I think you... Oh, that's a big one. That was big. Good job. It's great that child life is in every department because we'll be down uh, sitting in the waiting room for CT scans and somebody will show up. So this is an MRI machine. So. Um, it's just like a little tunnel. It's open on both sides. Can you kind of see the wall behind there? So it's not closed on either side. You're a good dancer. Have you thought about where you might want to go? Wow. This is day. 16, I believe, of our journey with Ryan. Um, we've been in intensive care for about 12 of those 16 days, and recently we have um, been able to start functioning again a little more normally. He has to come here right after physical therapy because that's not a lot of fun. <laughs> He's really tired, really frustrated, and he just said, can we just go there and play? What color is this tie? Blue? Oh, this? No. No. Oh, There's been times on days I don't have the dress and change. They've, they've taken the be my bed and actually brought it outside with me in it to the courtyard with me. Woo! Fair, good work. Do you think we can have a tournament this weekend? Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> you guys want to know why she's here? Because, because yeah. right now kids are in the hospital and I don't know what's wrong with them, but 
But they would like support while they're in the hospital. Kids that when they're not at the hospital like support and that's kind of why I'm here today so that your friends can know about diabetes, right? Yeah. No little kid should have to know. About cancer. But they did a really good job of making kids understand what was going on with Cameron. I was always amazed that Cameron could have just the foulest day. And I, somebody from Child Life would come in and, and ask if there's anything that she wanted her to, to do. She'd be a little standoffish, but they were persistent. And the next thing you know, she was playing a game, doing a craft, just totally. They could change yeah, her, they could yeah, change her, the perspective of her day. Yes, because mom and dad were, you know, mom and dad. So having somebody else was such a benefit to us. I knew, we knew it was her time. Child life was yeah. there within minutes. Yeah. To comfort us, to kind of explain to us what would be happening and what would be next. We were a mess, rightfully so. Uh, but they were composed, they were just top notch on top of everything and, and just kept. They were very comforting. Yeah. They were, to all of us, to our family, to our friends, um, to us. Um, so much to the point that we still make it a point to stop by and see our friends from child life, um, yeah. even though we have no other reason to be here but to say hi. Yeah. And thank you. Yeah, <laughs> they've done a lot for us over the years. So. They're special people.